In this video, we want to see how to calculate the max and the min on a summary sheet given that the data is spread across 12 monthly sheets. So in each sheet, we have some different values. So how in the world are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use the max function uh, equals max. And now we're going to use a what's called a 3D cell reference. And here's how this works. We click on the first sheet. Remember, there's 12 of them, right? We highlight the range. Up here in the formula bar, you can see there's the sheet name, meaning 1, explanation point, and then B2 colon E8. Now, I need to get to the last sheet, so I'm going to expose the sheets by scrolling forward. Now, notice the formula right here. There's a colon between the cell reference, but now I'm going to do a trick. This is sheet is highlighted right here. And any time in Excel you want to highlight, or Word for that matter, or PowerPoint or anything, anytime you want to click on one and click on the last and highlight everything, you use the Shift key. So because Sheet 1 is selected, I'm going to hold Shift and click on 12. And now look at our formula. It's got Sheet colon Sheet and then cell reference colon cell reference. What's awesome about this is now you're saying with your formula, add everything the B2 to B8 range, or E8, on the sheets 1 to 12. All right, and then I'm going to Control Enter. And there we have it. That's the max value. Now let's do that again with the min function. We'll do it a little bit faster. I'm going to click on the first sheet. I see my formula. I highlight the range. Scroll so you see the last sheet. Hold Shift. Click on the last sheet. We see our formula. Control Enter. All right, and so that is called a 3D cell reference. The reason why is it is B2 to E8 across many sheets, as, it, as if it is 3D. The other cool thing about this is if you ever insert a sheet, like a sheet right here, and use the same, same uh, template here, it'll pick that up because there's a colon there. All right, see you next trick.